I knew in 08 that I would absolutely come back. And so uh, fate would have it that I came back for a movie called Pieces of Her. It's a Netflix project. I'm doing it with the native Tony Collette, who's from Blacktown, and with Bella Heathcote, who's from uh, Melbourne. So it's been an incredible, joyous moment. I came back with family, so I'm here with my wife and my, and my kids, so it's awesome. Well, that's, that's the rumours. Everyone's been seeing you around the eastern suburbs and stuff like that. <laughs> seeing, you, seeing you with your guns out, showing you, you know, on the yeah, beaches. I heard, man. They were like, oh, Mario's looking like he's in shape. And I'm like, I think I'm kind of always in shape. Again. <laughs> Power's been, um, it's been obviously such an amazing run because it not only landed in 160-something countries, um, obviously inclusive in that being this continent, this country of Australia, but also it's been one of those things that I can never really say thank you enough because of course I wouldn't even be interviewed by you if you didn't know James Ghost St. Patrick. So, but the Bulldogs come to me, I guess, through a fate type of way because again, man, like you stated, I played at University of Georgia and as a college footballer to have my mascot be a Bulldog. And then for the first official time that I'm here at a game, on the same trip that I was flattered by the pop saying, hey, look at Omari, his muscles are showing, yay, Hercules. It would be kind of cool, man, to, to come to the game where the Bulldogs were playing. Can I say that you're officially a Bulldogs fan? Oh, Bulldogs fan. You're a Bulldogs fan now. Come on, bro. You want me to grab the microphone and turn this interview well, around on you? Go. You want me to interview you? Come on. I'm Bulldogs all the way. Go dogs. Woo, woo. This is a big, rich town. I just come